Oedipus, why did she leave so quickly, so grimly? There must be something to her silence. It, it can't be good. Let it be as awful as you can possibly imagine. I will find out where I come from, however pitiful a place. Even she thinks like a noble. She's ashamed of my low birth. But I am the child of fate, who I consider fair enough. I will not be disgraced. Fate gave birth to me, and the months of my life are my family members. They would want me to know my origin. Mount Cathiron, if my judgments are correct, by the next full moon, Oedipus will know you to be his family, his mother, and his nurse. And Thebes will bless you for your kindness to our king. Apollo, may you accept our offerings. What immortal is Mother to our end? And who is his father? Perhaps his father is that mountain dweller Pan, or even Apollo himself. The plains near here are dear to him. Perhaps he's a new son, or the son of the animals who lives up in the mountain. Venerable citizens, I think I see the woman we've been looking for. He seems to be about the right age, though you'd be better suited than I would to recognize the old shepherd you saw all those years ago. Rest assured, this is her. She was one of Lyra's slaves, as faithful as any shepherd. You, Corinthian stranger, you recognize her as well. This is indeed the shepherd I spoke of standing before you. Answer my questions now. Were you once a servant of Lyra's? I was a slave in his home. What was your life there? What sort of work did you do? I tended flocks for most of my life. Where did you spend most of your time? In the country around Mount Cathyron. When you were there, did you meet this man? What? Who? This man right here. Have you ever seen him before? Not that I can remember. I'm not surprised, my lord. It's been years. Let me jog her memory. We tended our flocks together on Mount Cathyron for three whole seasons, every spring and summer. In bad weather, I would drive my flock away, and she would drive hers to Lias' stalls. Isn't that right? You speak the truth, how, how long it's been. Now tell us, do you remember giving me a child to raise as my own? What? Why do you speak of this? Because this man is that child, old friend. The silence! The gods strike you dead for this! Don't be hostile, Sigmund, when you're the one who deserves punishment. What have I done, great one? You tell us nothing about the child. But, but he runs his mouth about things he knows nothing about. If politeness won't get you to talk, you'll talk through your tears. By the gods, you wouldn't torture Someone me. Someone take her hand now! What is all this? What do you need to know? Did you give away that child? Yes. Yes, I gave him away. I wish I died that day. You will soon enough if you don't tell me the truth. The truth will kill me even sooner. You are wasting my time! No! I told you. I gave him the child long ago. Is he a child of your own house or someone else's? He wasn't mine. Someone gave him to me. Is he the citizen? No. My lord, by the gods, please ask me no more. May you perish if I have to ask you again! It was a child of life's house. I must know. The child was said to be his, but the lady of the palace can tell you better than I. Did she give him to you? Yes, my lord. Why? So that I would kill him. How could she dare to do something again? I said, mother. She feared the prophecies. What prophecies? It, it was predicted that the child would kill his father. Why did you give him to him? Need the poor child, my lord. I thought he would take him to another land, back where he came from. But he saved him for the greatest evil of all. If you are who he says you are, you were born cursed. Gods. Prophecy has been fulfilled. Wrong. Oh, light, may I look at you now for the last time, born of the wrong parents, 